Saab 340 propeller assembly here, freshly built up with some overhauled blades. Uh, and the hub might actually be overhauled too, I don't remember. But anyway, we're just waiting on batch number paperwork and this thing can be uh, green tagged. But uh, maybe some of you would think this is kind of cool. This is what it looks like off the aircraft. You can see fresh new, nice paint job on the uh, blades, a new erosion strip. And yeah, pretty looking pretty looking blades but this is all there is to it there's 12 bolts or studs in this case so the Sova Saab 340 can either have studs or bolts that mount the uh, propeller to the uh, prop flange on the PGB or propeller gearbox at the front of the engine uh, this one is the later version that has nuts and studs so on the earlier ones picture these being gone and what you would have inside is kind of like a threaded insert so you would put this on wing the dowels are the same these dowel holes made up with two dowels on the uh, PGB uh, shaft flange and um, you the bolts you wind them in and they all need to be lock wired together kind of more of a I don't know I guess you could say smaller turbine engines use that style PT6s come to mind. Pretty much every PT6 it's a bolt type where you you wind in a bolt to the propeller hub. But these, all it is is, uh, sorry for the heater noise by the way, it just kicked off. It's starting to be cold here. But uh, these are studs so these slip through the prop shaft flange and you put nuts on here. And they are self-locking. There's no lock wire or anything required no bending tabs but of course we use we don't reuse the nuts if they're one-time use you put them on you have to make sure they have enough drag torque on the threads themselves that they will just back themselves off and you torque them to about a hundred foot-pounds just like about the same as you torque your your lug nut on your car or your truck and that's all that holds these things on so there's 12 of these and they kind of free float um, maybe later some other time I could show you inside the hub there's nothing really that, that picture this on the other side being a, a bolt head as well and it kind of it's pressed in here but it's not see how it, they each move a little bit they're kind of floating in a, a recess that's kind of embossed into the hub on the inside maybe when I have one apart next time I could show you but uh, what else the dowels are the spots that on the prop flange that and the hand on the hubs themselves too on the older style that older style hub especially that you really need to pay attention of of cracking uh i think there's been how many maybe three two or three instances in the saab 340's history of propellers detaching from airplanes <laughs> like the most recent one was rex in australia uh, in 2017 and i'm not going to begin to speculate i don't remember the whole story there but i think it was more of a uh, propeller shaft on the pgb like a metallurgical failure because i think the picture i saw it had this style with the studs and when they found the propeller it was lying just like this and you could still see the uh, nuts attached and they were holding on the propeller shaft flange and it just kind of twisted itself right off which That'd be pretty gnarly, I hope that never happens, but we uh, NDT these uh, every once in a while when it's, there's, there's new inspection requirements since that accident that have come up that we need to look at these more often or get uh, trained NDT people in. So that's how they get bolted on, is these big honking bolts. Uh, this little cover is just keeping shit out of this passageway that goes straight into the uh, dome which has a piston in there and this is where the beta rod goes in and out that directs oil pressure to and from the dome or the, the piston in there moving the blades either coarse or fine uh, what else can I sh tell you this is what we call the slip ring so as you can see it's kind of copper 
copper rings around here. This is where the brush block mates up against. And there's eight, eight brushes total, or is it uh, 16? I can't remember. 16 maybe on the Saab. Uh, that's on a bracket mounted on the PGB. And with these carbon brushes that rub along these. And that's where the power gets transferred through. So in turn, these rings are all hooked up to these leads. These, some of these wires, and then they in turn power the uh, electric, the ice boots. So that's how that all works, is uh, brush block. And what else can I show you? Spinner back plate, nothing too terribly special. Uh, counterweights, so these help move the blades into a higher pitch or if you can picture it like wanting to go more towards feather, like the propeller is sitting right now. And the hub itself, there is eight, eight bolts? I think it's eight bolts. I can't see it, it's covered. One, uh, that hold it all together, so it's split in half. Uh, you can see, you can get a good view in here. You can see the split right here. So the hub is in two pieces and the blades are trapped or smushed inside with their bearings and their seals and whatnot. And these are these eight bolts, they're stretch torqued to proper spec. And it's a beautifully machined, these hubs, like they're, they're so beautifully machined. It's almost, you'd swear it was just one solid piece and they cut it. Maybe that's how they do it, I don't know. But uh, you put any, these need to be sealed uh, so you put a very small bead of sealant around the uh, the halves before you mate them together. And it could just be a minute amount. And by the time you torque it out, torque the hub down, it looks like you put so much on there because it squeezes it all out. <laughs> but uh, anyway, they are matched pairs on these. You can't change individual blades on the Saab 340, as you can see on this one. That serial number for this number four blade has been matched to balance, static balance with its its opposite, which would be number two. We can't just change, like on the bigger airplanes, I think in ATR you can, and the dashes, you can change individual blades, even on wing. But, uh, and I actually think you can do that with the uh, Hamilton standard version of uh, this prop, which is an option to come with the Saab, but all we have is these Dowdies. So, uh, yeah, if you ever need to change a blade on the Saab, it needs to be taken down and uh, rebuilt completely. Um, what else to show you? The dome is sitting inside this little holder here we have right now. I, nothing really much to see. Essentially, the dome just extends kind of to right, right here, and there's a cap on the end. Where we put, when we go to install the propeller, we put the beta tube through, we feed it through that way. And there's an O-ring on the cap to seal it and, and whatnot. Um, the blades themselves, oh yeah, I guess I could show you. That white ring in there, that's a Teflon shim. And they come in different thicknesses uh, and depending on the wear of the hub. And I mean, maybe no two blades are the same. So they come in different thicknesses. And that is how you shim out a blade for its up and down movement. There's a certain amount. That's not the blade moving in the hub. I'm just me moving this right now. I'm picking up the whole propeller. But um, yeah, those. That's how you shim out the uh, the install when you're putting these things in, so you don't have these blades flopping around inside. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's about all. Anything interesting that I think I can show you on one of these. And uh, if you have any other questions, be sure to comment or send me a message and I'll try my best to answer. Cheers.